Hello everyone, it's just about Christmas and we're preparing here at the Rectory as I know I'm sure you are at home as well. Welcome to our Christmas video for 2023. I'm in front of our manger which sets the theme for our uh, baking recipe today. You can see we're awaiting Christ. He's not here yet because we're filming this just before Christmas, but everything is centered around that waiting manger, right? That anticipation, that hopeful expectation that we have during this wonderful season of hope and joy of Advent. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on Bethlehem, which means house of bread, by making a gingerbread house, which will really be a gingerbread manger for us with different um, cookies that represent the main characters in the nativity scene, Our Lady, St. Joseph, Our Lord, and so on. Remember that our Lord, by choosing to be born, and this was predicted in the Old Testament that the Messiah would come from Bethlehem, uh, our Lord is reminding us, or God is reminding us, that Christ will become bread for us in the Eucharist. We have that prefigured, of course, in the manna that fed the people in the desert, that manna which is bread from heaven. We also are finding our Lord laid in a manger. A manger is not the whole stable. The manger is actually the trough where the animals would eat. Our Lord reminding us he is meant to be a food for us, that he will come to us in the Eucharist, which is the center and source of our faith as a Catholic uh, people. To help us understand more about the Nativity, I've invited our principal and great Catholic educator, Mr. Rob Loya, but we just have to say a little prayer and he'll be right here. To see you, oh, Father. Rob, you're here. Yeah. Great. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm glad you could make it. And I um, wonder if you could tell our audience a little bit about yeah. uh, the Nativity and, and really who popularized uh, putting this gospel story into characters. Really, the crash does go back to St. Francis of Assisi. Uh, but the incarnation, the birth of Christ, was so important for St. Francis. And during this time, many would pilgrimage to the Holy Land and they would go to Bethlehem and they would see the great site where our Lord was born. And uh, spiritually, that made such an impact on those who would be able to do that. But really, only those who had the means to do that would do that. So Francis said, well, you don't have to go to the Holy Land. We can have uh, a living scene of the birth of Jesus right here. And he brought in uh, a mother and a father and a baby, and he set up really what was the first creche, so the people of the village of Assisi could have that experience. So this is great. Okay, okay. let's head into the kitchen. All right. We'll see everybody How in exciting. there. Okay. First thing we're going to do is make our tool cookie, and we're going to cream some butter and sugar. Wonderful. So we'll Mr. use Lord, our we'll handy dandy yes. mixer That's here. And now uh, we're just going to add the corn syrup. Yeah. And last but not least is our flour. Now we're going to um, incorporate our almost powdered hazelnuts. Now that we've taken the batter out of the, the bowl, we're, and we're put it onto our wax paper, which is laid on a cookie sheet. We're just making this kind of in the shape of a log. Okay, now we're just going to put it in the oven, 325. But maybe there I can... There we go, right There we here. go. Mm -hmm. And while our tool cookie is baking, we're going to make the royal icing, which will... Uh, use as the glue or the mortar for our manger scene and for decorations that we might add. First thing we need are six egg whites and just a pinch of cream of tartar. Perfect. Ready? Empty bowl. Now all of our sugar, our two pounds of powdered sugar are in with our meringue mixture. <laughs> okay, so now that our, our um, our gingerbread is cooled and ready to go, and we used our cutter to make it into this triangle shape. We're going to create so, the stable. This royal icing is our mortar. You can always add enough glue in there. Remember, yeah. glue makes it tastier. This is uh, wonderful, of course, to do with children. We're just spreading our mortar, really, yeah. this royal icing. Yeah. Looks great. Looks like little snow, but we're going to turn it into a more comfy place for our Lord by using shredded wheat as our hay. A little more around this there edge. We go. That looks very nice. And we can kind of press this in a little bit yeah. if you want. Look at yeah. that. Wow. 
Okay, we're going to cut this into strips and then we're going to make little pieces from that to help us decorate. Here we go. We're just decorating the exterior. You know, Give once the glue frosting hardens, it'll stick. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now you can see we've started to add some of our, our animals from the nativity. Now we're going to add the star. Now we're just going to adhere some of our key figures. Right. We, here we have the, the manger that held the body of Christ. And there we go. So to everybody in our community, we wish everyone a Buon Natale. And Merry Christmas to our parish and school families. God bless you.